Uh, you must be older than you look. I am. I'm 28. <laughs> There's men's room. How long has it been like that? What kind of disease? Uh, you know, uh, I touched that stuff. Don't worry about it. I need some information. Next of kin. Is this supposed to be funny? For the time being. <laughs> hey, look. Don't worry about it. It's, uh, it's just something that happens. I mean, uh, we're human. There's nobody that's perfect. We do our jobs, we do the best we can, and every once in a while, it, because we're fallible, the unforeseen happens. It just, it just happens, you understand? You ever lose a prisoner in Detroit? Me? No, are you kidding? <laughs> Listen, I heard about the operation you're going in for. It's nothing to worry about. It's a serious procedure, but it's something that's performed successfully every day. The biggest problem is people letting their fears and imagination get out of hand. I'm not worried. I got a fine doctor, and it's a very good hospital. Because there are no guarantees. <laughs> that was uh, Regina Gregory that called before. Oh, yeah? I told her you'd call her back when you got out of the bathroom. <laughs> you told her I was in the bathroom? <laughs> that's where you were. I know. <laughs> but, I mean, that's no need to go destroying people's illusions. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought she knew. <laughs> you know, more and more people are becoming convinced that there is other intelligent life in the universe. And they recognize the possibility that these creatures may have already made exploratory journeys here. Some also believe that these aliens have already entered our society and at this very moment are living among us. Yes, Dietrich. <laughs> you ever see the movie Laura? It's about a policeman who becomes fascinated by a woman he knows he can never have. So? It's playing down the street. You want to see it tonight? You have to keep a little mystery in your marriage. I wouldn't know. I've never been married. You never found the right girl? Nope. Anatomy class ruined me. <laughs> we found her walking in the alley. She was in a daze. Oh. The reports of her death have been greatly exaggerated. Mark Twain. <laughs> yeah, but it's in public domain now. Is he at the Panya Ballet? Yeah, he's a musician. Oh, I saw it last week. They danced Swan Lake at Lincoln Center. I know. Oh, God, it was just wonderful. Swan Lake is, is one of the most magnificent and, and breathtaking of all the ballets. It's, it's an artistic milestone in the history of the performing arts. Did you go? No, I had hockey tickets. 